everyone? Welcome to the sometimes electrifying, mostly annoying episode of Shock and Nod Toy Reviews. Two, sometimes three idiots, a camera, and a review. I am Wilson. I'm the Berg. I'm Topher. And in this episode, we are reviewing a special children's toy for special kids. What's it called? This is the Transformers Rescue Bots Copter Crane Blade. Look at that box, but look at that toy. There it is. Ding, ding, ding. And that's Blades, all right, from the famous Transformers show, Rescue Bots. One of the many, many iterations of Transformers cartoons. For those of you who don't follow Rescue Bots, this is the latest iteration of the character Blades. <laughs> there, there have been Blades figures before this, most notably a helicopter version of Blades and a jet fighter version of Blades. This one is a different type of helicopter and is also one of their deluxe size figures, so he's a lot bigger than your standard Rescue Bots guy. Now, to be fair, I think what we need to all agree that we're gonna do is not judge this toy like we would judge a collector grade toy, but judge it based on being a kid's toy. All right, should we break it down? He's got orange <laughs> and blue and some gunmetal gray or silver. Most of it is poorly done. Now, why would you say most of it is poorly done? I'm looking at it and it I think fine, that man. most of the masking is pretty clean. You'll notice on the front of this wing, is all orange. The front of this wing has no orange on it. There's not a straight line along this, the orange crest. All right, I can see the millimeter that you're talking about right there. Get your microscopes out. Oh man, this is gonna be such a good one. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks fine, right, for a kid's toy. None for of it a kid's looks toy. It looks fine. Yeah, none of it looks like it's chipped or that it will chip or come off. Uh, but if you look at the packaging, you can see that there looks to be like they planned or they were going to put more paint apps, especially on the legs. They got some orange on the sides and in the front here, but they obviously just didn't do it. But they did give him a gray wheel, even though the picture shows white. white. So yeah. something changed along the way. I think that the, the big detractor is the fact that they skipped some paint applications. The, the gray hands that are pictured on the box would have looked really nice, break up some of this solid white. I they also have some cares. gray here. Well, and, and, but see, that's, that's the point, that a kid doesn't care. It doesn't necessarily make this toy look bad to not have it. It's still actually pretty on model with the character from the show. So the fact that he's missing a couple paint applications, my nephew's not going to care. Would it make for a little nicer looking toy overall? Yeah, probably. But I think that the paint that is there is actually done pretty clean. One of the things that I will say um, about the paint, particularly those of you who have kids, um, the paint that they use on these rescue bots is pretty tough stuff. Yeah. You know, we, we play pretty hard and heavy with our rescue bots. They bash and they crash and the paint holds up pretty well. We have a, the smaller version of the helicopter blades me, he looks almost the exact same. I mm -hmm. really don't notice a difference. Only thing that's different is the head doesn't seem to pop up above that as much as I would thought thought it would. Um, there's enough little bit of detail here and there to kind of break up some of the the big sections. Obviously, you have a lot less de detailing here than you would on most normal Transformers figures, um, but it is a kid's toy. And I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Rick, will you walk us through the complex <laughs> articulation here? <sighs> <laughs> he has some of the loudest, nicest ratchets I've ever seen on a Hasbro toy. You can do this. Yeah. The plastic wheel spins on his foot. Woo! Yeah. Um, and these roll. Well, let's do a shock and off first. Let's show the transformation. Put your arms down. And then squeeze your legs. And that's it, you're transformed. This is actually one of the things I love most about the Rescue Bots toys. In the TV show, they'd be flying in, and as they would fly in, they would transform and land in robot mode. And any Transformer toy that you have, you can't transform them that fast, but these you actually can. So while we're playing, you can literally transform one of these guys in the time it takes to make the transforming noise, yeah. which is kind of fun and kind of cool. I know what you're talking about. So like when you're playing with a child and you you come in, it's like, oh, now he transforms. Well, That's it's right. easier to and more fun to do that than, okay, let's stop. Yeah, now, like, wait five minutes. Dad takes ten minutes to do his and yours, and then, okay, now let's continue. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's there. That's that's pretty fun when you're playing. When you're flying around in, in helicopter mode, he's not accidentally transforming into a robot and vice versa. Pretty solid. So the best feature of this toy comes courtesy of this accessory. There's a giant spring-loaded claw, and on the bottom of the helicopter, there's a little spot where this five millimeter peg slides in, and then you have the rescue claw hanging from the helicopter. When you rotate the helicopter blades, the crane, or the claw arm lowers. Help me, rescue bot. <laughs> I've fallen with mother's drapes. And you can grab on to your figure, and then when you spin the blades the other way, you can lift your figure and rescue him. Oh, this claw opens yeah. pretty wide. You could grab, I would say, almost all of the standard size rescue bots, guys. Um, or here, even, uh, is this Megatron? That's uh, Star Screen. Star Screen? There you go. Yep. Just got to get a little creative. Yep. Um, but this is an awesome play feature. I haven't played with this with my nephew yet. I know he's going to love the heck out of this sure. and want to do this. He's going to want to pick up and rescue every bot, and that's awesome. Does it store on him rather than just hanging there anyway? Um, in his helicopter mode, it's got there's, a, there's a little 5 millimeter peg hole up here, and I think if you let some slack out, you can peg it up in here so that it's stowed okay. on the bottom. So if you don't want that it dangling... Better. You can yeah. have it stowed in that position. That looks better flying. too. It fills out more there. Because yeah. I was like, oh, it looks so empty. But I was like, the crane or the, the claw has to go there. Yeah. If you left the claw on, <laughs> he's going to have like claw belly, which, yeah, looks goofy, but I'm actually pretty sure that a lot of kids would think claw belly is pretty cool. The claw slides out and then it pegs into either one of his hands. Claw, claw, claw. There's also this peg that you can peg it up here if you want to have your claw go in that direction. Can he pass the one foot test? <laughs> can he pass the one foot test? Well, seeing as he has no lower leg articulation, no. So in lieu of being able to stand on one foot, at least he stands easily and sturdily on two. Point well made. So we have Blades, Marvel Legends, Thor, Titans Return, Quake. Scarif Stormtrooper from the Star Wars Black 3 3 quarter inch series, Titan Master Blunderbuss, and the 10th anniversary movie Transformers Starscream. He towers over all of them. He's a nice sized toy. Perfect. And next to a giant Scorponok toy. I wonder if Blades could pick him up with his capture claw. He couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so down to the bottom line, everyone's final say so. Who's going to go first? Why don't you go first? Uh, I'll give him a four out of five hammers. I would say he's probably a great kid's toy. I can't, you guys' arguments are valid. I, I feel he might be slightly overpriced. Like, I know what I get for 20 bucks in my toy, and I feel this doesn't justify 20 bucks. Because I can get a deluxe who can do things that kids don't care about for 20 bucks. As a parent, I feel he's overpriced. I agree. What do you think, Wilson? Uh, I'm going to give him a three and a half. He seems very overpriced, especially considering, like, hey, uh, we give up from the waist down. Like, it's just colorful and then nothing. Sure, kids don't care about that, but it's you're, rip, you're, you're ripping me off. I know you are. You're doing it. Stop. Uh, transformation, all the play features are good. Kids will love it. I still find that the bigger these toys get, the less art, the less articulation, less movement that they have. That to me is more of a detractor. I care about that. Some kids may like only being able to move the arms and stuff. The claw thing is great. He looks great as a helicopter. He looks like the character, except for this part, but that's all nitpicky stuff. It's just the price, and with rescue bots, I tend to like the smaller ones more, just personally. That's the ones we have the most that we've played with, and they seem like you get more for the money. I don't mind less articulation in the smaller ones. The bigger the, the toy gets, I, ex I would expect more, mm -hmm. but I also see why they lessen it as they get bigger. I'm going to give him a four and a half out of five. I agree that he's 
overpriced, but I don't think he's as overpriced as maybe you guys think he's overpriced. If this were just a claw accessory, then yeah, he's a lot overpriced. If he didn't have the cool winch, then he's very overpriced. But considering that he's got this nice spring-loaded accessory, he's got a working winch, a very nice play feature that works really smoothly, works really well, makes sense to the character, I think that that actually adds a lot to this toy. Yeah, he's more expensive than your standard $8 rescue bot, but he's got a pretty legit play feature yeah, that I think that's true. legit adds value to the toy. And I know that we're definitely going to get $20 of play value out of that. For sure. So that's been it. Thank you for watching and tuning in. If you watch the whole thing, great. Hi, kids. If this is your first time, <laughs> sorry. Like, subscribe, comment, everything below. You can find all the good stuff, other things to watch. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. Until next time.